Hey y'all, Randy here with Rashley's Porter Q. Today we're going to be cooking up country style pork ribs on in the pressure cooker XL. Y'all stay tuned and we'll be right back. In addition to the ribs, we're going to be using some Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce, chupacabra rib noxious, and about a half a cup of water in the bottom. Don't want to put too much water because these ribs are going to render out a lot of fat that's going to go down into the bottom of the cooker. We're going to put a liberal seasoning of the rib noxious. Now we're going to flip them and do the other side. This is the trivet that's going to go in the pressure cooker and it's really good because it's got the handles and as soon as they're done we can just grab the handles and lift everything right out of there. We're going to add that half cup of water and we'll put the ribs in. We're going to make a loose stack out of them and kind of crisscross them. Then we'll add the Sweet Baby Rays. As it heats up, it's going to run down in amongst them and that's plenty. Being careful not to rub all the spices off, we're just going to kind of spread it around on these top ribs. Good enough. Now I'm just going to fold the handles over on top of the ribs. Vent is closed. Select meat and adjust for 45 minutes. It may not need 45 minutes, but we're going to take a shot and see how it comes out. Now we wait for it to pressure up. And there we are. Hopefully it's done. We're just letting the pressure naturally bleed off. Then we'll open it up and see how tender they are. Yep, that 45 minutes was plenty. Fork tender. All right. Nice and tender. As you saw, it's just fork tender. You can tear it apart with a fork. Very, very good looking. Let's see how it tastes. What do you think? That's really good. <clears throat> Some of the sauce came off of it as I thought it probably would but it's still really good. I'll add a little sauce to it. Since it doesn't have smoke flavor, we'll enhance it with just a little bit of sauce when we eat. We got some baked potatoes over here in the oven, some corn on the stove. We're gonna get going. Hey, thanks for watching. And if you stay tuned, we're gonna try this same recipe in a Dutch oven at some point in the near future. Well, recipe, we're gonna try the pork ribs, the boneless pork ribs in the Dutch oven. So stick around and look for that in the future. Thanks for watching. Click like, subscribe, and we'll catch y'all later on down the road on Rashley's Border Q. Adios.